Hi friends, it's Aubrey. Today I am showing you my new chest freezer and how I'm organizing it, as well as a meal plan that I will be using to help clean out this freezer and also kind of clean out the other freezer. So if that interests you, keep watching. Let me give you a view into our chest freezer. It is certainly not organized. We have our butter, some random things in this bin, flour, lots of bread and vegetables and meat. So what I'm thinking is we'll go ahead and organize this freezer first, and then we'll take a look at the freezer over there and figure out what we can move into this freezer. I bought this set of bins from Amazon. They're stackable bins by like flipping in the handles and then you can stack them on top of each other. So I was thinking we could do two or stacks of two in the middle of the big freezer and then just see if we need another pack. If we do, I'll go ahead and buy another one because I think these bins will work really nicely because then you can just pull the whole shelf out, like the whole basket out and pull out whatever you need. And if we don't stack it too high, figure that'll keep everything organized and easily accessible. So let's go ahead and clear out this freezer, put these in and see how it works. I think first we'll take everything out and then we'll organize it and then put it in the bins. Here is everything except for the butter that was in the freezer. There's the cheese and like veggie potatoes. This middle section is mainly just bread and then pizza, pizza crust, and then uh, some tortillas. We have some go-gurts, flour, and then meat. And we have four bins. So I'm thinking we'll do meat in one or two bins. And then bread might just be in like the middle or on the side there's a little shelf. And then we'll do veggies and cheese in another bin and just see what that is looking like. Here is the inside of the freezer. We got, a, I believe, a seven cubic foot freezer and I'll have one linked down below that's similar. And I've really liked having it so far. We've had it for about a month and it's been great. I've been able to stock up on lots of things like, as you can see, this butter and bread and a few other things that have been on sale that I might not have been able to if we were just using our freezer over there. So very excited to get this organized and... Let's see how this works out. Got everything organized in the bins, I think. Have more cheese in my freezer, my other freezer, so I might put these in the inner basket because we'll probably reach for these pretty quickly and then add other cheese from my current other freezer into this bin. And then when they stack, you do lose a teeny tiny bit of height here so that's why I did it this way just to test to make sure that they could stack and then we're going to go ahead and pop these in the freezer and see what we're looking like. I also decided not to put these in any bins because they won't fit and they'll probably just have to lay somewhere in the freezer. This is what we're looking like now. There actually is enough height for another bin on each of these. I might buy another pack, but I don't know. We'll kind of test it out, see how it goes for the next couple of weeks with these bins. But I think having them like this, we can easily move the bread to grab from the bottom because there's like an opening. Um, but I tried to prioritize what we use most often. So like the veggies we'll use more often than the cheese. And then over here we did like the breakfast meats and the brats because we'll use those more often than the sausage meats. And then I'm thinking for our main freezer, we'll go ahead and put some things in there that we'll use more often. And then this will kind of be like the supplementary freezer. And then we'll just add things to it as we buy them in bulk, like the cheese or the meat. And then we'll just leave one or two in that freezer. That way, this freezer will hopefully stay a little bit more organized and it'll also be easier to find things in there because right now it's kind of difficult. Let me go show you. So pretty dang packed in here. I haven't really gone through this at all since we got the new freezer, so I just left everything. So what I'm thinking is maybe we'll reorganize this, move some stuff to the other freezer, but also leave some in here. 
We did clear out a lot of the stuff from the shelf here, so at least there's rooms for other things when we need to get more or put more things here, we can, but definitely thinking let's clean some of this out and then leave what we're using more frequently in this freezer. I am also probably going to throw away a few things if there's any freezer burn, because some of the stuff that's been in there has been in there for a while. So it's definitely time for a good clean out. We had a lot more in that freezer than I realized. So we're gonna go through this, reorganize the freezer, and then we will show you me putting everything back into it. I added more of the sausage to the bins and I kind of redistributed them. This one's going to be on the bottom. And then this one will be on top of this because we pull for these more often than we pull for this stuff. I also added a couple of these on top, but I probably can move them back. And then another thing I did was I added all the extra cheese that we had that we don't need anytime real soon right here. But what is nice, since these have handles, I was able to pull it out super easily and access the cheese. So even if we need the cheese anytime soon, it's not that big of a hassle. I am thinking of maybe taking the bread and putting it in here. This is just the perfect bread bin because it's about the height of the loaves and I can fit six of the smaller loaves and like four or five of the bigger ones. So I think I might utilize this still in this freezer and put some of the bread from the other freezer in here and then we'll just have a little bit of extra space in the other freezer. Everything is organized in bins and I think I have an idea of where we're gonna put everything. So let's put it all back. You guys, it looks so good. Okay, so we have our chicken nuggets and bread. We have the veggies down the middle here. This bin is chicken, and then I think there's some celery right here. Have our little naans, which I'm planning on using for either making some curry or like little mini pizzas coming up pretty soon. So we're just gonna leave them in this freezer. And then this bin is like meatballs and sausages. We use these pretty often for dinners, so we'll go ahead and do that. Down the middle here, we have some beans, spaghetti sauce, there's more beans, and then guacamole, which if you didn't know, you can totally freeze that. And then up here in the front, we have some sweet pork and ham, which I'm hoping to use in the next like week or so, so I wanted to keep it in the front, but I'm gonna move it so I can show you what's in this bin. It is all of our ground beef. We definitely have a lot. There's probably six or seven pounds in there, so we definitely don't need ground beef anytime soon, but that is what this is freezer is looking like and it looks so much better. I didn't really do the door. I thought it was fine. It doesn't look that organized but up here's like fruits and veggies that are frozen. We have a ton of pizza crust that we'll need to use, some biscuits, and then some breakfast sausage for my husband. This is just really easy grab and go for us for different like smoothies and breakfast options and then we'll make some pizza or something with those sometime in the future. Here is one final look of the deep freezer. I did add some chicken drumsticks in this bag right here, but everything else is organized and it's accessible since we can lift these baskets out. I'll definitely have them linked down below if you are interested in getting some for your deep freezer. And I think we are good. Our freezers are organized and I'm feeling good about things. Here are a few dinner ideas that I thought of using the things that are in the freezer. We have pasta with chicken, ground beef, or sausage. We could do a wide variety of pasta recipes based on what we have in the freezers and already on hand in the pantry. We can make our breakfast hash, breakfast casserole, beef and broccoli, Thai peanut beef, Korean beef bowls, teriyaki meatballs, Italian chicken or pesto chicken. Both of these are some really good crock pot meals that we like. We could also make lasagna, a taco casserole, pork and potato casserole, and sausage and veggies. I'm sure there's a few others, but these are just what I came up with in a couple of minutes. And I'm very excited to know that we have so much in the freezers that we can use to make meals for the next few weeks for my family. I think what I'll do with this list is just put it with my meal calendar on the fridge, just so that way for like, what should we have for dinner? We can look at this list and make it. 
that is all I have for you guys today. I hope this was helpful. And if you liked this video and would like to see future organization content, definitely give this video a like and hit the subscribe button down below so that way you don't miss any future videos. And I hope you have the best rest of your day. Bye.